Tennis is back at St. Charles East High School, and we are super excited about it. But there's some definite changes to this year's season that we need to go through before tryouts even begin. This is our athletic director. Look how happy he is. We'd like to keep him happy this entire season. So there's a couple things that he's asking us to do for our safety. Number one, please, please, please make sure you have protective equipment to cover your nose and mouth, also known as a mask. I'll go through in a second here to basically explain where you will need to be wearing your mask at all times. On top of that, make sure you bring your own water bottle. We do not want to be providing a means of giving you water throughout the tryouts. That would be very, very bad for the spread of possible virus. Lastly, make sure you have your physical completed and up to date. Besides just registering online, we cannot let you step onto the tennis courts or anywhere near our tryouts without having a registration filled out and a completed physical. Let's keep our athletic director, Mr. Sommerfeld, happy. Look at him. He's so excited. This year, there has been three zones designated around the tennis courts. Zone A, also known as the range, or where driver's ed takes place during a regular school day, will be our first zone that we will utilize. Entering the tennis courts will occur through the gate connected to Zone A and Zone B. Zone B is normally where our bleachers are next to our tennis courts. At station number one, there will be two coaches that will greet you as you enter in through Zone A. We are asking all parents to please drop off athletes in Zone A. If you are planning on driving to tennis tryouts, make sure that you park in Zone A and have your mask on the entire time you're in Zone A and Zone B. When you get to point number one on here after you enter, a coach will greet you before you can enter into zone B, which is just uh, adjacent to the tennis courts. Your temperature will be taken with a thermal scanner, and it must read 100.4 or lower to enter into the tryouts. If your temperature reads 100.4 or higher, you must go home for that day. We will follow up with you at the end of the, tri at the, end of the tryout later that day. On top of that, a coach will ask you a series of questions related to your symptoms associated with COVID-19. You must answer all these questions honestly and responsibly, and we will record that as being present for the day, as well as your responses to those individual questions as we continue with the tryout. You will then enter into zone B where you will be greeted with two more coaches. These coaches will explain what the tryout will consist of, and we'll talk about specifically in these next steps. It is important to maintain six feet distance between all athletes during this time. At this time, Close proximity is considered within six feet, masks or no masks, for a total of 15 minutes on any given day. If an athlete were to test positive for COVID-19, all other athletes that have maintained close proximity with that athlete will need to quarantine for 14 days as designated by the IHSA. Your tryout assessment will be recorded entirely digitally. We will enter in your last and first name along with the year. In this first tab, you can see that we actually have the location for your fitness testing. There are approximately seven events from a 20 yard dash to a vertical jump and a horizontal jump all the way through. Your fitness testing will be ranked out of all the participants in the varsity JV1 and JV2 program. You will receive a rank overall for each individual event. You then will be ranked on an average overall for the entirety of this for your fitness testing. Your overall fitness rank will be indicated all the way to the right in this column, and you can ask any coach to see what your overall rank is. On top of that, your tennis IQ test will be entered out of a 15 score raw. You will then also be ranked based off your scoring. In this, possible, it is possible in the tennis IQ section to have a tied rank with many other individuals. We anticipate that to happen as coaches. The most important section is actually your match play, and this will actually accrue across multiple days. During day one, you'll enter as many matches as you possibly can. There is a section for singles and a section for doubles. You will fill out a form that is really sent to your student accounts so that you can enter in your matches and your opponents so that we can keep track of it. On the second to last column, you'll notice that the level is associated. Every varsity match will be multiplied by a factor of four to indicate a higher possible average scoring. JV1 matches will be multiplied by a factor of 2, and JV2 matches will not be multiplied, thus giving higher rankings to those that tougher opponents that you are playing. Your overall assessment of match play will again give you a rank. 
So if you're looking at this entire tabulation of tryouts across three days, there'll be one last tab where we have the entirety of your fitness, your tennis IQ, and your match play to give us an overall basis to where you should stand in terms of rank in the entire program. This is by no means the entirety of your tryout. This is merely a guidance for us to keep track of you digitally as we go through this process. Okay, so let's sum up this entirety of what's going to happen on day one of the tryouts as we begin. Day one, August 10th, Monday, all players that are trying out for the varsity or JV1 team will show up at three o'clock. Please do not arrive early. We cannot let you on the tennis courts without first checking you into the arrival station on station one. See the original part of this video to look at zone A where station one is. Coaches will thermally scan you and ask you a series of questions related to your COVID-19 symptoms, should you not have any symptoms, which we are hoping for, um, and read a temperature of 100.4 or lower, you may enter into zone B, where we will discuss the actual tryout portion of this with you again, just to reiterate our main points. Please make sure you are registered, please make sure you have an active physical, and make sure that you are wearing a mask and have your own water. The tryout for that day will be approximately two hours long and will involve fitness testing, which would be a series of skills that related to agility and speed, a tennis IQ test, which will be primarily just 15 questions related to general, general tennis strategy scoring and, and things of that nature, and then as much match play as we can possibly get in that day. On day two and three of tryouts, we will adjust and we will no longer be doing our fitness testing or tennis IQ testing. The goal of day one is merely to provide you with some sort of ranking as to where you fall with the entirety of this program. It is our goal for day two and three to actually assess you in terms of match play so that coaches and all the associated levels can make an accurate lineup. The goal of day two and three is actually where you are allowed to truly show where you shine in our program. Please discuss any all details with the coaches associated with each level. Again, the varsity and JV1 will show up from three o'clock to five o'clock and JV2 will show up from five o'clock to 6.30 p.m. During this time, coaches will assess you based on the match play that you actually take part in and also some additional matches that coaches will set up. At the end of day three, which is Wednesday, it is our plan to let every single athlete know which level they have made. 